Coding made easy. So what's up everybody and w welcome to your next Java made easy tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be learning about abstract classes and ab abstract classes allow us to uh, extend on polymorphism a bit more and this is how we do it so we can we can all agree that um, and the entity class is too abstract it's too broad what is an entity what entity are we talking about it's just too broad of a, a subject and so we're never going to in our program we're never going to need to m make an instance of entity as you can see in this program we either set an, our entities equal to a player or we set it to uh, an enemy we didn't actually make an entity itself we didn't do something like this we never set it to entity itself we can but we didn't at all and wouldn't it be great if we could just get rid of that functionality altogether and just make it so that we just use it for extending to classes but we don't actually make instances of it at all well we can do that once we make a class abstract so an abstract class is a class that cannot make an instance of itself so uh, so if we try if I try to do entity e equals to new entity as you can see we'll get an error and I'll say cannot instantiate the type entity so we can't make an instance of it but we can extend from it and we can uh, we could do everything we've done polymorphically and that helps us with polymorphism because we don't we don't need to have an instance of entity, it's just way too abstract, it's just, just way too broad. But we can still use it in function in method parameters, we can still use it for um, extending and yada yada yada. And there's more we can do it with. So before, look at our attack, right? So if, for example, if I didn't have this right here, if I didn't override this right now, when we call the player's attack, it will say attack. But we want what if we wanted to force each class or each instance or each inherited class or each child class to have its own its own attack well we can force it to have its own we can force it to have its own methods in a class and we do so by saying abstract so we say abstract void and we put attack and we don't put a method body it doesn't require a method body because they're going to override it anyways so there's really no point for this. So when we put public abstract void attack, we're now telling, we're now saying that the class needs to have it. So if you notice, when we get rid of it, we hover over it. It says the type player must implement the inherited abstract method entity attack. And when we say add an unimplemented method, it automatically adds it for us. So if you need, if you have a method that you need every class to have, such as the attack method, that is very vital and you need them to have it, and your class is an abstract class, then you can make an abstract method which will force them to have it. And in an abstract class, you can still have regular methods like set, set health and display values, values that they don't need to override that they can still use, but it's just that these abstract methods must be implemented. Note that you cannot make an abstract method, sorry, if the class is not abstract. A class must be abstract to make the abstract to make the abstract method. Uh, just so you guys know that. But that's it. And uh, for for a class that's not abstract, it's a, called a concrete class. So just a little information there in case you guys want to know the difference of what they're called instead of calling it a non-abstract class you can call it a concrete class and it is it just means a non-abstract class so that's it uh that's all that there is to abstract classes um so i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to comment rate, and subscribe don't forget to like my page on facebook follow on twitter and also don't be afraid to uh sign up on my website that's it and bye for now